you shared a picture of your wife, and you said that she was your woman crush Wednesday on a Tuesday. Yes. Well, I am super household. in love with my wife. If you look at my screen shaver, I will show you. Who is Let that? Let me see. When you look. A few moments later. Hey, uh, I just wanted to let you know that I would not be making it to do a power show. I went to the hospital and I'm going to postpone it for a later day. Um, thank you for everybody that bought a ticket, but I promise you. As soon as I get better, I get out of here. We're gonna have a great show. All right. Thank you all for all the support. No, but when I was in the hospital, I, it made me <laughs> get really closer to my daughter because mm -hmm. I, my, my wife left me while I was in the hospital, too. That's terrible. How long were you guys married? Uh, two years, two years. Yeah, that was pretty recent. Yeah. yeah. So, what's good, homies? This is your man, Dr. BOA. When you think about some of these guys who have these wives, and a lot of times the wife was not with them when they got on. These guys seem to fail to realize that your wife must be all in with you as a man, not as a star, not as a, a high earner, not as a quote unquote high value guy or any of those things. She must buy into you as a person. And if she doesn't, the very moment things get hard, she's going to flee the scene on you. And one example of that is comedian Rip Michaels. Now, I don't know what you know about Rip besides the fact that he's one of the wild and out comedians. And, uh, you know, after initially having a slow start where you just see him on stage, he eventually, you know, elevated to where, you no, know, he was uh, actually a part of the show on a regular basis. And he was pretty good at what he was doing. He also has a decent stand up career. And he's, uh, he's a guy who does a lot to give back to other businesses. I mean, he's a pretty stand up guy. He has a wife, non black wife, of course. And he held her down. He brags about her. He confesses his love for her to the world. You know, I was stalking you, I was internet stalking. <laughs> and you shared a picture of your wife and you said that she was your woman crush Wednesday on a Tuesday. Yes. And nothing's wrong with that. If you're going to marry a woman, then you probably should confess your love for her to the world. But the man hit hard, he hit a hard patch. You know, the man, he says he has a uh, congestive heart failure, which is kind of a hereditary thing. You kind of get it genetically from your parents or grandparents or your people. And the crazy thing is the man decided that he was going to try to, you know, get himself in better shape. Now, the word is that he actually, you know, altered his body through surgery. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have a problem with a man or woman altering their body through surgery if their intent is to take it from there and actually work to maintain that body. And I will give Rip that, he has done that. Some of these women who get the BBLs, they actually get the BBLs and then they get in the gym and then they work to keep the rest of their body in shape so it still looks good on them. Um, Bandman Cavo is another one of these guys, man, he does it. He, uh, he went and got his body done and man, and he's, he's constantly always working out, man, to keep himself fit. And I get that, I, ha I don't have a problem with that at all. But when this man did this, of course, you know, his wife benefits, but not long thereafter. And, you know, I can't attribute it to the surgery or anything. No one really can. And, uh, and like I said, he does say that he has congestive heart failure. And so, you know, it's, it's one of those things where he ended up having a heart attack. And while he was in the hospital, his wife left him as he was in the hospital trying to recover from this. The woman left. Now, what kind of experiences were you having while you were in the hospital? You know how people say they see, they see things or they have, like, visions. Did any of that happen for you? Yeah, actually, when I was in the hospital, a promoter reached out to me, and he wanted me to do a show um, with uh, Tupac. And, oh, my uh, God. <laughs> I was smoking. I was like, and people are dying to get those tickets. So. Uh, literally. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when I was in the hospital, I, it made me get really closer to my daughter because mm -hmm. I, my, my wife left me while I was in the hospital too. So That's yeah. crazy. Yes. I, I, I don't, how does that even happen? She, I guess when it says the deaf do us part, she's a go-getter. She don't like to procrastinate. Oh so she was, God, that's, she was out. That's terrible. How long were you guys married? Uh, two years, two years. Yeah, that was pretty recent. Yeah, yeah. That's cold-blooded. Um, I guess when it said uh, I, I was in ICU, she was like, I'll see you later. So she was, uh, she was oh. out of there. 
I don't like that. But it's okay. But you know what it does? It lets you know that certain people can't handle things, and certain people are supposed to be with you for certain parts of your life. And I and I realized that it was hard to cope with because honestly, when I was sitting there. And I went from just right regular hospital bed to CCU and had the, the nonstop doctors about me. I really thought it was over. And I and if it wasn't for all the fans and, and even every single person calling me and wishing me well wishes, I was like, you know what? I'm meant to get out of this bed. I have more of my life to live. It's, it's, it's not over. So when you see these things happen, you must understand that you have to know the woman that you're with. And the way you know that is by making her contribute. To the process of your process. See, she has to contribute to your cause. She has to be active in elevating your movement. Now, I'm not saying she has to support you. She has to be your biggest cheerleader. So, so when you hear a man say, yeah, I love my wife. She's my, you know, my woman crush Wednesday on Tuesday and every other day of the week. When does the woman say that? When does the woman thank you for building the brand, building the name that she can hitch her wagon to and become something else besides just an average get up and every day go to work woman? When does the woman thank you for putting in the work that makes it possible for her to live the lifestyle that she wants to live without having to be responsible for footing the bill for that lifestyle? Yes, a woman can make her own money. But is it better for her to be in a situation where she makes her own money and foots the bill for her life or she makes her own money and she has a man who's footing the bill for the lifestyle while she's still making money and she can make more money off of his name? You see what Rip Michaels found out and what so many other men are finding out is that when the woman is with you because of who you became, she will never be with you because of who you are. It is a really tough thing for a man to meet a woman and he has a level of fame and notoriety and some financial success and he not use that as a hook to catch the woman. But I tell you men all of the time, never use those things as a hook. You let the woman get to know the real you and if she's into the real you, then hey man, then she's going to feel you. If she doesn't feel you, then she doesn't want the real you. And I'm going to tell you, man, she does not care if the lifestyle that she expects from you kills you. Rip Michaels is a prime example. I get it. What woman leaves while you're in the hospital, possibly on your deathbed? Now, some women in the comments said that he cheated on her the whole time. But then when he got sick, he expected loyalty. My thing is this. If you're going to leave because you're treated badly, why didn't you leave before? But I'll tell you what the problem is. A vindictive woman will wait until the time is right where she can cause you the most pain, grief and embarrassment. She's waiting to cause you the worst pain, grief, and embarrassment of your life. And when she gets to that point, she'll pull out all of the stops. She'll have no remorse for the course that she has chosen, even if it leaves you frozen. If she leaves you broken and you seek sympathy from her, you must be joking. Don't allow yourself to believe that a woman who likes you, wants you, and loves you for who you became, will ever love the true you if all of the knight in shining armor is stripped off the surface. She won't, bro. You will end up with a woman who abandons you in your time of need. So I want y'all to come in down below and tell me if you ever had a situation like that. If you think there's any reason for a woman to leave a man at this point that she was previously with, Understand that if you allow yourself to be used, don't get it confused because you will never be important to the person that you allow to take advantage of you. And you're willingly and knowingly being taken advantage of. So if you're a man, you have any level of success out here, you better come to the realization that at some point, when it's time to show and prove, that woman gonna bust a move and it's not gonna be the move to stay united with you. It's gonna be the move to get ghosts. So I'm glad that Rip came out of the back end of this thing, man. He's back out there, he's back moving around and he didn't let that hold him down or hold him back. But I'm telling you, man, legal marriage in America is whack. And if anyone that tells you is anything else, you better keep your eye on that person because they trying to get you jammed up. Understand brothers, that a woman must prove herself worthy of being added to your life. And if she doesn't prove that, she will never value it.
Yes, she will value the experience, but she won't value the work it took for you to put her in that position. Not only the work it took for you to build a life, but the mental work it took for you to make her your wife. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. Subscribe for more videos. And always remember, Alpha's up, Beta's down. Peace.